What's going on my fellow dongs and welcome to Mario Kart Super Circuit for the GBA. This game was released around, well you see it on the bottom, and it was the first Mario Kart game on a handheld, which was a huge thing back in the past and it made a lot of sense because, <clears throat> you know, in that I feel like around the GBA time, like they wanted to make Mario Kart on every console, so it made sense, you know? We're gonna be playing this game. I gotta warn you guys, I am extremely bad at this game. Probably the worst. This has gotta be probably my least favorite installment in the Mario Kart series because, well, I don't think I really need to go too far on this one because it's just. I'm not sure, honestly, but I mean, it's a really good game, don't get me wrong, but. I feel like there's a lot of problems that people would play DS or 7 or something like that, so, yeah. Anyway, so, let's go ahead and actually play this game. Just a warning, I probably may or may not play Special Cup because I need to unlock it, obviously, but so what I'll do is, um, I'll play all the tracks, and I'm pretty sure you can do this, right? But first off, let me just, let me just choose a character really quick and see if I can do this. I guess you can't. So, I'm gonna actually play, um, because I know that if you play all the cups on a certain CC, you'll have the special cup, so, yeah, but, um, I'll be playing every character in some way, so maybe I'll just do all the cups on 100 CC first, and then play all of them in 150. That would probably be good, I guess, so we'll just do that, 100 CC, just to kind of start off balance, because this game is not easy to play, I'll always be say that. Uh, so here are the characters. These are the same characters from Mario Kart 64, of course. Nothing too crazy. We're gonna start off with Mario, of course, because he's the guy that started in his own game. And we're gonna start off with Mushroom Cup. Here we go. <clears throat> Alright, starting off at Peach Circuit, I believe what this is called. So... You start... Oh, shoot. Drifting. Okay, I have to actually get used to this game because this is a slippery Mario Kart game. A lot more slippery than you think. So how do I? So I'm playing this on emulator. How do I use items? Oh God. Okay. <laughs> this game is really slippery. I guess I press L to use them. That's kind of something I'm gonna get used to, I guess. But um, take that. Um, so this is a flat game. It seems like you know. Not flat game, a, a little, there's a lot of flat tracks we'll be getting to, but some of them are really, really cool. Uh, this one was actually brought back from Mario Kart DS, which is cool. And, um, yeah, the controls are basically Mario Kart 64, just a little more slippery, I guess. So, I don't think I'm gonna need to go too far. Also, there's coins, um, I think they make you go faster, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm not gonna know too much about this game. But yeah, I'm pretty bad at this game. This is definitely my least favorite Mario Kart game. I made a... I, th I made a Mario Kart ranking list like a while ago, so go check it out. It explains why I don't like this game as much. But we got the first lap done. Wow. Alright. So yeah, I'm happy that I'm back to doing Let's Plays again. I would like to do like RPGs, but I want to play Super Mario RPG, but right now I have the not ability to play that, honestly. Also, Shy Guy Beach, definitely one of my favorite tracks. Um, this was brought back in Wii, and this is actually one of my favorites. The music is nice, and um, yeah. Although the, although the Wii version is the better version, obviously, because it made it a little bit more tougher, I'm pretty sure. That's what makes Mario Kart Wii so great, I guess. Yeah, they just throw cannonballs at you. That's why I love this so much. There's a lot going on in this one. And obviously because, like, the computers are gonna be behind a little bit, this is only 100cc, so... When we get to 150, it's not gonna be easy. <clears throat> so I might have to play some heavies, like, in the beginning tracks, so I don't play as them later, you know? Alright. So yeah, I don't think I have much to say on- oh. I probably should have hold that behind me. There we go. There we go. I have one coin. Oh yeah, so, there's an annoying meter that basically warns you you have no coins or just one coin. I really hate that. <laughs> it's like, I think coins make you go faster, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. 
Oh god, I almost fell in the water. You can't fall in the water. I think they've had this since the beginning. In terms of other water tracks, I guess. I'm glad I blocked that, and we're done. But the music is pretty good, though. I know a lot of people don't... I think a lot of people think this is a really good game. In terms of, like, other people's rankings, people say Super Mario Kart is war. Although, either the Super Mario Kart or... Um, this one. Alright, Riverside Park. Uh, this was never actually brought back, but this is a really good looking level, actually, or good looking track. Gotta be one of my favorites, actually, in terms of good looking. Alright, well, this is basically useless, but I'll try this. Boost, steal your item. Don't need to explain. Pretty much, I guess. Okay, the turning is really not the greatest, though. Also, I am going to be trying to adjust volume settings and all that stuff, so in case the game is either too low or is my voice is too high, just be a warning that I'm just going to take a while to get used to everything, you know? Because this is my first gameplay video. Obviously getting rid of the other ones because I just wasn't... The, the game audios were way too loud, so now I can lower it. Okay. There we go, alright, here we go. Alright, DK. Take that. I'm gonna need an item, though. Thank you. Alright. Also, I really hate that the arrows are just showing you which way to go. Like, I can clearly see the track anyway. This game is really slippery, though, so... Kinda gotta get used to the controls, I guess. Maybe that's why I'm not the biggest fan of this game. I grew up with Double Dash, though, so don't be mad at me. <laughs> no, Double Dash is the better game, honestly. Okay. But yeah, let me know if you have any other game suggestions I want to do. Keep in mind that I don't have the ability to play on Switch yet, so I'm just doing some retro games right now. And um, I'll figure out like how to do that once I get a capture card. So it's gonna be a while before I set that, all that stuff up, you know? So, yeah. Alright. Alright, now we have Bowser's Castle. I think this is the first, I didn't read that. But, um, this is one of the Bowser's- yeah, this is the first, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Apparently they have, like, so many Bowser's Castle in this game, but... <laughs> I mean, not to complain or anything, but they're just way too many. <laughs> this is also another short track. Most of these tracks are gonna take, like, a minute at most. I guess I do like the theme, I guess. I thought oh, that almost hit me. Oh, um, I got stuck. Shoot. Also, I guess I... I don't know, like... If you get, like, 5th or lower, basically, um, you have, you have to, I think you have to restart the track, I'm pretty sure. And I hope I don't have to do that at all. Because that would not be fun to deal with. Alright, throw that. Alright, good. There we go. And, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't take long, like a minute, I guess. So yeah, that was the first cup of the Mario Kart Super Circuit playthrough. Um, next episode, we'll do Flower Cup 100cc. We could just see ourselves get a trophy right here. With a big cheap cheap, I guess. I got rank B. That's not bad, I guess. And it does save automatically, which is good. So next episode, we're going to be doing 100cc um, Flower Cup next. So hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. I will see you guys next time for more. Later, folks.